Dear colleagues, I want to deliver you the next lecture about bullous dermatology, especially pemphigus during disease and bullous pemphigoid. Determination. Bullous dermatology, a heterogeneous group of disease of the skin and mucous membranes accompanied by the appearance of blisters. Pemphigus. Pemphigus is a severe dermatosis characterized by a chronic progressive cause outside the reception of corticosteroid therapy and cytostatic which end in death. The incident rate is from 0.06 0.08 to 1.6 per 100,000 population per year. In the structure of scan disease range from 1 to 1.5 percent affect mainly women age from 30 to 60 years. The onset of the disease in 67% of cases is from the oral cavity. Pemphigus, the clinical classification. We know the follow, follow form of pemphigus. Pemphigus vulgaris, vulgar pemphigus, pemphigus erythematosus, or sybaric pemphigus, senior usher syndrome, Neumann vegetative pemphigus, pemphigus vegetans, Leaf shaped pemphigus, pemphigus foliatus, pemphigus brasiliensis or Brazil pemphigus, pemphigus herpetiformis. Pemphigus divide by stage of disease according to Sheklakov, progressive stage of disease, generalized stage of disease, a stage of epithelization. Pathogenesis. Formation of class G autoantibodies to the intercellular substances of the spinal layer of the epidermis and the protein of intercellular adhesion of the epidermis, especially desmoglein 1 and desmoglein 3, activation of B and suppression of T cell immunity with antigen of histocompatibility HLA. A10, HLA B5, HLA B16, HLA B22 as part of the desmosome of epidermal cells. You can see on the left side of this slide the structure of epidermic cells in the patient suffered from pemphigus. You, you can see the rupture of desmosome will appear. In vulgar pemphigus, the violation of the desmoglein 3, in pemphigus foliatus, the desmoglein 1 hand obtained. In the right side on the slide, you can see the data of immunofluorescent analysis or biopsy tissue of scan of the patient with pemphigus. You can see the deposition of G autoantibodies between the epidermal cells. The clinical feature, the appearance of flabby blister on unchanged scan, the erosion has uneven edge with a cover covered with serous hemorrhagic purulent crust, the pain and burning disturb of the patient, especially symptoms of progressive stage, Nikolsky's symptom in three options, ribbon-like exfoliation of the epidermis when pulling on the edge of a piece of the blister. Second, when rubbing with spatula, apparently unchanged scan away from the lesion, the exfoliation will appear. Third, exfoliation of epidermis by rubbing the area between the two blisters. A contolytic cell, trunk cell, a modified cell of the spinal layer of a round shape and basophilic cytoplasm in the fluid 
of blister will appear. As Bokhansen symptom, when present with a glass slide on the blister cap due to an increase in pressure inside it, perifocal detachment of epidermis and increase of the area of blister are observed. Shaklakov symptom, pair symptom, when the patient is upright, there is an accumulation of fluid downward and a second blister in the form of pear will be appear. On this, on this slide you can see the clinical feature of affection in pemphigus uh, patients, especially affection of oral cavity. It's on the upper slide you can see the localization of pathologic process on the red border of the lips. In the bottom of the slide you can see the localization of erosion on the hard pellet of the mucous membrane of oral cavity. On this slide you can see the multiple erosion that localization localized on the skin surface of the uh, of the woman patient. Uh, the burning and pain disturbed of the patient. On the bottom of the slide you can see uh, formation of blisters. The fluid of the blister localized in the bottom of the blister. It is a typical typical uh, sign of Shiklakov, of Shiklakov's symptoms. Neumann's vegetative pemphigus, described by Neumann. Age of patient range from 20 to 40 years. Localization in natural folds, the formation of erosion with papillary growth, multiple pastels with pressure on the crust, pass with an unpleasant odor is released. After regression, hyperpigmentation of skin will appear. Nikolsky, Advokhanchen and Shaklakov symptoms are positive. Pemphigus vegetant. On this slide you can see the typical localization of pathologic process in the patient suffered from pemphigus vegetant. Especially in the bottom, on the bottom of the slide you can see that localization of erosion on the, in the retroauricular area. Uh, the localization of pathologic process on the uh, red border of the lips. Uh, the localization of pathologic process uh, under the mammary glands. Pemphigus erythematosus described by Sinir and Asher. Localization in seborrheic areas of the scan head, face, chest, back, erythematous foci covered with fatty crust are appear. The cause is long with remission. Nikolsky, Asbog, Hansen symptoms are positive. Benfigus foliatus, described by French scientist Kazinov, the appearance on erythematous background of flabby blisters with incomplete evolution, covered with lamellar crust resembling flaky dough, layering of yellow-green crust under which pus is secreted. Nikolsky is sharply positive. The blister are located under stratum corneum. Pemphigus brasiliensis, endemic dermatosis, Amazon coast, Brazil, country. Persons of all age are affected. Clinical type of type of pemphigus foliatus, localization of blister on the face and chest, vegetation are formed in natural folds. On the palms and soles, keratoderma are formed. Pathology of nails, onychorexis, joint contractures are obtained. The localization of blister are intraepidermal position. Pemphigus herpetiforme. Pemphigus herpetiforme is a cutaneous condition, a clinical variant of pemphigus that combines the clinical feature 
of dermatitis herpetiformis with the immunopathologic feature of pemphigus. Diagnosis Cytological smear an imprint on a contolytic cell, chunk cell, take smear print with the help of sterilized pupils wrapper bent from erosion. The preparation is stained according to Romanovsky Gimze. In the blister cavity, cells of the spiny layer of rounded shape with basophilic cytoplasm will obtain. For differential diagnostic, erythema multiforme, Snedden Wilkinson, subcorneal pustulosis, daria dyskeratosis will carry out. Histological, enteroepidermal blisters localization. Direct immunofluorescence, glow of the prickly layer of the epidermis due to the position of G immunoglobulin and three complements. Enzyme link immunosorbent assay and immunoblotting reaction used in the diagnosis of pemphigus. Tsang test. It was introduced by Arnold Tsang. This is a simple technique to analyze physical bullion disease. The base of unroofed blister is gently scraped. The material obtained in gently smeared onto the clean glass slide, allow, allowed to air dry and stained with Romanovsky Gimza. Tsang cell is a rounded keratinocyte with hypertrophic or dysmorphic nucleus, absent nucleoli. Increased nuclear to cytoplasmic ratio due to the loss of normal intercellular cohesion and abundant eosinophilic to basophilic cytoplasm. The staining is more intensely basophilic near the cell membranes, moaning edge because of cytoplasmic condensation at the periphery resulting in, in a perinuclear halo. On this slide you can see typical localization on the, on, in the smear, in the smear, the uh, tongue cells. On this slide you can see uh, pathogistological feature uh, by light microscopy. Biopsy shows that the blisters are intraepidermal with rounded keratinocytes floating freely within the blister cavity. Acantolytic cells and sun, and sun cells will appear. Differential diagnosis uh, will be carried out with fellow disease, especially other type of pemphigus, bullous pemphigoid, dermatitis herpetiformis, bullous impetigo, eczema, Familia B9 pemphigus, Haley Haley disease. Mouth ulcer will be carried out with after Bechter disease, herpes simplex infection, bullet lichen planus. Treatment Long term dispensary observation. Use glucocorticoid preparation, especially prednisolone, at the rate of 60-80 mg per day, depending on the severity of pathologic process. Maximal doses were right uh, to uh, 150 mg, help reduce mortality from uh, 90 to 10%. Side effect Cushing syndrome, blood hypertension. Gastroduodenal ulcers, osteoporosis, exacerbation of latent tuberculosis of internal organs, and bleeding in the gastrointestinal tract. Cytostatic, use azathioprine, metatrexate, cyclosporin A. Biological therapy, use rituximab. Rituximab it is an anti CD20 monoclonal antibody has been reported to have multidrug resistant for four weeks. 
long-term rituximab treatment with regular infusion every 4 to 12 weeks for long in, in, in induction cycle infusion every week. Immunotherapy normal human immunoglobulin. The usual dose is 2 gram per kilogram of body weight per cycle divi divide over 3-5 days. The cycles are repeated every 3-4 weeks outwardly. Anilin dies, drying out foci. Application of glucocorticosteroid ointment. Epicellizing ointment. Now, some information about dermatitis herpetiformis during disease. Dermatitis herpetiformis is a chronic autoimmune blistering skin condition characterized by blisters filled with watery fluid that is intensely itchy. Dermatitis herpetiformis is a cutaneous manifestation of celiac disease. Dermatitis herpetiformis is neither related to no cause by herpes virus. The name means that it is a scanned inflammation have an appearance similar to herpes. Clinical feature of dermatitis herpetiforme intensely itchy, chronic papular vesicular eruption distributed symmetrically on the extender surface will appear. It may start at any age, including childhood. Scan biopsy. If a bullet can be biopsied before it is scratched away, the histology will be that of subepidermal blisters with dermapapillary collection of eosinophil. Pierrot microapsis will be appear. Direct immune fluorescent granular A immunoglobulin deposit in normal appearing scan on diagnosis for dermatitis herpetiformis. <coughs> Most, if not all, dermatitis herpetiformis patients have an associated gluten sensitive, sensitive anthropathy, increased sensitivity to halogens, especially audium, audium, storum, chlorum, cause the condition typically last for decades unless patient avoid gluten entirely. Differential diagnosis, scabies, an excoriated eczema, insect bite, or neurodermatitis. The rest respond rapidly to dapsone therapy. Gluten-free diet works very slowly. Combine the two at the start and slowly reduce the dapsone. Direct immunofluorescent perilegional scan should be sampled. Granular deposit of A immunoglobulin seen in papillary dermis. Granular linear pattern may also be seen. On this slide you can see the typical uh, clinical feature of dermatitis herpetiformis on the back so on the back side of trunk. On this slide you can see uh, different <coughs> localization of dermatitis, dermatitis herpetiformis, especially on the side of the body, on the and axillary area on the skin surface. You can see the group form of, of blisters and vesicles. The itching disturb of the patient. Serological test. Anti-endomysial antibodies. Anti-reticulin antibodies. A immunoglobulin. Anti-tissue transglutaminase antibodies. These three autoantibodies are highly patognomic for untreated celiac disease. Yadasan test, test 
oral administration of 5% iodine solution or application of 50% potassium iodine ointment lit after 72 hours to exacerbation of skin lesion and prove the diagnosis. Differential diagnosis will be carried out with fallow disease, especially bullous erythema multiforme, transient acantholytic disorders, papular articaria, scabies, neurotic excoriation, atopic dermatitis and neurodermatitis, bullous pemphigoid and pemphigus, pemphigoid gestationis and linear A immunoglobulin disease. Management. In the treatment, use dapton. The doses of preparation range from 2, from 100 and 200 mg per day. You can see the side effect of treatment, especially appearance of hemolysis and metglobinemia will be appear. Oral vitamin I protect against dapton induced hemolysis. Sulfosalazine 0.5 g 3 times a day increase to 2 g per day when sensitivity to dapton. Cofixin when dapton or sulfosalazine when a gluten free diet cannot be instituted. Heparin with our tetracycline plus nicotinamide can be used who cannot tolerate dapton or sulfoninamide. Other immunosuppressive, especially cyclosporin, azathioprine and prednisolone preparation. Preventive measures. Gluten-free diet mandate strict avoidance of wheat, rye, barley. Reduce the doses of dapson in 70-100% of following a strict dietary regimen after 8 months even stop at in 40-70% after about 2-5 years. If dietary restriction are discontinued, the rest retained after an average of three months. Suggestions that the restriction should be continued lifelong. On this slide, you can see the clinical feature A immunoglobulin linear dermatosis of childhood that resemble and one type of dermatitis herpetiformis. Chronic bullion disease of childhood, chronic blistering disease, which occur in children, usually start before the age of 5 years. Small and large blisters appear predominantly on the lower trunk, genital area and thighs, may also affect the scalp and around the mouth. New blisters form around healing old blisters forming a cluster of jewels. Cause is chronic and spontaneous remission usually occur after an average of 3-4 years. A immunoglobulin autoantibodies bind to the basal membrane protein such as ladinin and laminin in linear form. Secular clusters of light blisters like the type seen in pemphigoid. It involves the perioral area, lower trunk, inner thighs and genitalia. Blistering may spread all over of the skin surface. Investigation. Scan biopsy will show subepidermal splits. Direct immunofluorescence reveal A immunoglobulin along the basal membrane of the epidermis in a linear pattern. Treatment. Oral dapson 
range from 50 to 200 mg daily. Sulfonamide, an immunosuppressant, will be used in the treatment. Erythromycin is uh, successfully used in the treatment of ever mentioned disease. Now, some information about Bullard pemphigoid. It is an autoimmune blistering disorder. Antibodies bind to normal scan at the basal membrane zone. It is more common than pemphigoid, mainly affects the elderly. Mucosal involvement is rare. Pathogenesis. There is linear deposition of G immunoglobulin and complement against protein at the dermoepidermal junction. The immunoglobulin G, immunoglobulin G antibodies bind in two main antigens, most commonly to B P two hundred thirty and less often B P one hundred. 80 found in the hemidesmosome and in the lamina lucida. Complement then activated starting as a phenometry cascade. Azonophil often participate in the process causing the epidermis to separate from the dermis. Clinical feature. Pemphigoid is a chronic, usually itchy, blistering disease mainly affecting the elderly. Early stage of the disorder is characterized by pruritus. Blisters may be centered on erythematous and articulate base. Light turns blisters found anywhere on the scan. The flexures are often affected in the aspect of the thigh, flexure surface of forearm, axilla, groin, and lower abdomen. The mucous membrane usually are not involved. The Nikolsky test is negative. On this, sli on this slide you can see typical clinical feature of bullous pemphigoid in the axillary area of the elderly man. You can see the group form of large blisters with fluid. On this slide you can see also clinical feature of bullous pemphigoid, the itchy and burning the type of the patient. Investigation. Scan biopsy show a deeper blister than in pemphigus, owing to subepidermal split through the basal membrane. On direct immunofluorescence, periliginal scan show linear band of G immunoglobulin and three complements along basal membrane zone. Indirect immunofluorescence show G immunoglobulin antibodies that react with the basal membrane zone in most patients. Hematology within a few years will be appear, but not always. On this slide you can see the pathogistologic feature of bullous pemphigoid. You can see the formation subepidermal position of blisters. Nikol, uh, Nikolsky sign is negative. Acantolytic cells are absent. On this slide you can see Direct immunofluorescence investigation. You can see the typical localization of G immunoglobulin in between the epidermis and derma. Resemble of linear shape. Differential diagnosis uh, will be carried out with the epidermolysis bullosa, bullos lupus erythematosus, dermatitis herpetiformis. Bullock erythema multiforme. Treatment in acute phase prednisolone uh, varied from 40 to 60 mg daily is usually needed to
to control the eruption. Immunosuppressive agent may also be required. Doses should be reduced as soon as possible to low maintenance taken on alternate days until treatment is stopped. In very mild case and for local recurrences, topical glucocorticoid or topical tacrolimus therapy may be beneficial. Tetracycline and nicotinamide has been reported to be effective in some cases. Treatment can often be withdrawn after 2-3 years. On this slide you can see the table especially devoted to differential diagnosis between pemphigus and pemphigoid. In pemphigus usually affects the middle age. In pemphigoid elderly patient suffers from acute and non itchy painful. In pemphigoid uh, chronic cause and itchy disturb of the patient. Pathologic process in pemphigus seen on the trunk, flexors and scalp. Uh, in pemphigoid pathologic process localized usually in flexural areas. Mouth blister is common. Mouth blister is rare. Nature of blister is superficial and flexed. Blister is tense and bloody uh, in the patient uh, suffers from pemphigoid. Circulating antibody is G immunoglobulin through two intracellular adhesion protein. Serum antibody titer does not correlate with clinical disease activity in the patient suffer from pemphigoid. In the pemphigus you can see acantholysis. In pemphigoid acantholysis is absent. Nikolsky sign is positive in the pemphigus patient. Nikolsky sign is negative in pemphigoid patient. On this slide you can see uh, differential diagnosis by localization of skin lesion in different disease, especially in the patient suffered from pemphigus vulgaris, pemphigus foliatus, pemphigus vegetans, bullos pemphigoid, epidermolis bullosa equisita, dermatitis herpetiformis, and linear A immunoglobulin dermatosis. On this slide you can see different differential diagnosis use the histopathologic feature in above mentioned disease. Thank you for attention.